right, welcome back to the Knives Fast Channel. Guys, it's time to do a review, but first say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Test Man and Log and TV. And let's get started on the Knives Fast Channel. If you're not subscribed, why not? Uh, please consider doing so. Now, this is a Concept Convict 3.3 inch designed by Sheepdog Knives, CPM S35, green anodized titanium from over at, it's a loner, from over at my friend at White Mountain Knives, Justin. Uh, really have enjoyed this knife. Now, uh, by the way, guys, please use my code KnivesFast to check out at White Mountain Knives, which this one is current. This green one is currently available. The blue and the gray titanium are not. If you buy this or anything else, use code KnivesFast to check out. You get 10% off. I get uh, nothing really except Justin, uh, because you guys use my code, allows me uh, to get loaners and see them. So please continue doing so. Uh, now, this is a rebirth of the concept a Convict because originally it had uh, a thumb disc. And now this has thumb studs and it is so good. Now, this is uh, contoured, chamfered, um, and it is contoured. Uh, slightly not like way rounded, but very, very contoured and chamfered off uh, titanium. Now, you do not have any skeletonization in there, uh, but you do have some chamfering here on the lock bar. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, and, you know, everything is well done. The screws, besides uh, where it's contoured here, you can feel the screws, but they're rounded very well. You do have a uh, right side only um, a titanium milled clip here. Um, and the clip is fine. Um, it's a little low. I, you know, you kind of got to force it into the pocket a little bit. I wish it was a little better. Uh, it's good in and out of the pocket. It's good retention. Uh, you do have a fine lock bar. Now the, uh, it did catch on my pants a little bit right here where it's kind of almost 90 degrees, but no big deal. You do have a lock bar insert, um, for, for lock up there and an over travel stop. On the blade, you got this sheep's foot with this great, uh, although fingerprinty, uh, uh, awesome, awesome sheep's foot blade in the satin finish. You do have, uh, you know, brass thumbs, brass looking thumb studs uh, with the cone shape and nice milling. Over here, you've got the number of the knife in S35VN, and over here, you've got. Uh, the Convict and the Sheepdog paw print uh, knife's logo there and the Concept logo over here. But um, a fairly thick stock. I think it's 0.14. We'll talk about that in the specs. Good placement for your thumb. Nice and flat. No need for jimping there. Um, and uh, really cool. Now, it comes down to a good edge. As a matter of fact, where going to put my cardboard. Here we go. Uh, make sure we show the right side. I'm redoing this review because I showed an address, uh, which stinks. But you can see it, well, until you hit, what did I hit there? Oh, piece of tape. Uh, well, don't show that side, I said. Um, but yeah, you can see it just cuts through cardboard really well. If I had a bigger piece here, this would be easier. But there you go. Just mows through that cardboard. No problem whatsoever. Now I made a mess. We'll just leave the mess up here. Now nah, we'll take it down. Uh, there you go. But uh, really cool, kind of gummed up the blade now, so we'll clean that off uh, with my cloth here. Uh, really beautiful knife. Oh, yeah, that was definitely tape. So there we go. We got it cleaned up now pretty good. Got a little bit still there on the edge, but you guys are okay with that. So uh, really cool knife. Now, um, man, I really did. <laughs> I'm going to clean it a little bit more. Uh, I really got it gummed up in that little bit of cardboard and I hate, I just hate showing you guys, uh, a gummed up looking knife, but, uh, there we go. That's much better. So, uh, you do have, it does fingerprint a lot, guys. I'll just say that it really does because of that satin finish. Uh, no lock rock, no blade play. Uh, you got like a 15 on your lock up there. Now there's not wonderful access, uh, to the lock bar, but because of this chamfer and because the lock bar moves fairly easily, it's it's fairly easy to actuate. There's no lock stick whatsoever. Uh, really done well with that insert. Now, did you see that? It really wants to drop, man. If my thumb wasn't in the way, it would just go home. There you go. Uh, it's really good action, really well done in that regard. Pops out with the thumb studs. Uh, I can middle finger flick it with the thumb studs. Really, really awesome. I, I dig this blade and the action of it a lot. Now, 
Uh, it is riding on bearings and it's really well done. And this is a sheepdog knives uh, design, really cool. Now, this green one is available for $208 minus, again, my 10% discount at White Mountain Knives with code KNIVESFAST. Uh, the specs are 7.52 inches overall, 3.3 inch blade, which is great. Uh, 0.14 on the thickness, so not super thin, but it comes down to a good edge. Plain edge, S35, uh, anodized green titanium, and 4.06 on the weight. Um, now, as far as ergos, because of that contouring, feels great. And the pocket clip is not, you don't even feel it, so it's great. Um, it feels good in the hand. Now, you do kind of feel something right in here. Uh, where when you bear down, but not it's not a hot spot. Feels great. Now this is to me. You can kind of choke up in here, but just be careful. It's not a lot of room. You kind of got to play back like this. Um, yeah, but if you know, it works. Definitely works. And again, it's a four finger knife, but just uh, for me. And again, really cool. Now let's do uh, some comparisons here. Put her in the middle and we'll get uh, the normal comparisons out. So there is the Rat 1, which is bigger, both handle and blade. And here is the Rat 2, which is slightly smaller in the handle and slightly smaller in the blade. So there is your uh, convict sandwich, if you will. Uh, really, really digging this one. Now, like you saw, it cuts really well. And that sheep's foot blade lends towards getting down into packages, into stuff. Uh, it's a really popular blade shape right now, man. I keep just getting that blade all fingerprinted and junk up, and I just like cleaning it. So there we go. Uh, really, really awesome knife. Again, comes with this pouch and the box. Um, and again, $208 for this one. Now, the blue and the gray are not currently available at White Mountain, uh, but they may be available somewhere else. And by the way, you do have a slight kind of curve in the handle down to the blade. And, and that's kind of cool too, aggressive little uh, sheep's foot there. So really cool. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I enjoyed checking it out. Thanks, Justin from White Mountain for sending it over for me to check out. And uh, guys, I really appreciate all your support. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed uh, to the Knives Fast channel, please consider doing so. And thank you ever so much uh, for watching the Knives Fast channel.